the King James Bible, the second book of Moses called Exodus, chapter 22. And if a man shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. If a thief be found breaking up and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there, sh there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he should be sold for his theft. If the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or vineyard to be eaten, or shall put in his beast, and shall feed in another man's field, of the best of his own field and of the best of his own vineyard shall he make restitution. If fire break out and catch in thorns, so that the stack of corn, or the standing corn, or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindled the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he have to put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for ox or ass, for sheep, for raiment, or any manner of lost things which another collect challengeth to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judge, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a sheep, or any beast, to keep, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of the Lord be between them both, that he hath not put his hand into his neighbor's goods, but the owner of it shall accept thereof that he shall not make it good. And if it and if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. And if it be torn to pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and all shall make good unto which that which is was torn. And if a man borrow aught of his neighbor, and it be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be a hired thing, it came for his hire. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. If her father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrificeth unto any gods, save unto the Lord only, shall be utterly destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them any wise, and then cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as a usurer, neither shalt thou lay upon him usury. If thou at all take thy neighbor's raiment to pledge thou shalt deliver it unto him but by the sun goeth down for that is the his covering only it is his raiment for his skin wherein shall he sleep and it shall come to pass when he crieth unto me that i will hear for i am gracious thou shalt shalt not revile the gods nor curse the ruler of thy people thou shalt not delay to offer the first of thy ripe fruits and of thy liquors, the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt give unto me. Likewise shalt, shalt thou do with thine oxen and with thy sheep seven days, and it will be with his dam. On the eighth day thou shalt give it to me, and ye shall be holy men unto me, neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of beasts in the field. Ye shall cast it to the dogs." Chapter 23 Thou shalt not raise a false report. Put not thine hand with the wicked to be outright, to be an unrighteous witness. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. 
neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Neither shalt thou countenance a poor man in his cause. If thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. If thou see the ass of him that hateth thee lying under the, his burden, and wouldst forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him. Thou shalt not rest the judgment of thy poor in his cause. Keep thee far from a false matter, and the innocent and righteous slay thou not. For I will not justify the wicked, and thou shalt take no gift, for the gift blindeth the wise, and per perverteth the words of the righteous. And thou shalt not oppress a stranger, for ye know the heart of a stranger, seeing you are strangers in the land of Egypt. And six years thou shalt sow thy land, and shalt gather in fruits thereof. But the seventh year thou shalt let it rest and lie still, that the poor of thy people may eat, and what they leave the beast in the field shall eat. In like manner thou shalt deal with thy vineyard and with thy olive yard. Six days thou shalt do thy work, and on the seventh day thou shalt rest. And the ox and thine ass may rest, and the son of thy handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Three times thou shalt keep a feast unto me in the year. Thou shalt keep the feast of unleavened bread. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread seven days as I commanded thee, in the time appointed of the month Adib, for in thou shalt for in it thou camest out of Egypt, and none shall appear before me empty. And the feast of the harvest, the first first fruits of thy labors which thou hast sown in the field, and the feast of ingathering, which is in the end of the year, thou when thou hast gathered in thy labors out of the field, three times in the year all thy meals shall appear before the Lord God. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven bread, neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits that thy of thy land thou shalt bring into the house of the Lord God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way, and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angel shall go before thee, and bring thee unto the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Pezerites, and the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to other gods, nor serve them, nor do, any, nor do after their works. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land, the number of the days I will fulfill. I will send my fear before thee, and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. And I will send hornets before thee, which, fall, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, the Hittite, and from before thee. I will not drive them out from before thee in one year or less, the land become a desolate, and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. By, the little, and, by little and little I will drive them out from before thee, until thou hast be increased and inherit the land. And I will set thy bounds from the Red Sea even unto the Sea of the Philistines, and from the desert unto the river, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, and thou shalt drive them out before thee. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. They shall not dwell in thy land, lest they make thee sin against me. For if thou serve their gods, it will surely be a snare unto thee. Chapter 24 And he said unto Moses, Come up unto the Lord thou, and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off. And Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord, 
And all the judgments and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which were the Lord hath said we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and builded an altar unto the hill and twelve and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord hath said we will do, and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold, the blood of the covenant which the Lord hath made with you concerning all these words. <clears throat> then went up Moses and Aaron and Adab and Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone, and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel he laid upon his hand. Also they saw God and did eat and drink. And the Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me into the mount, and be there, and I will give thee tab tables of stone, and a law, and commandments which I have written, that thou mayest teach them. And Moses rose up, and in, in his manner ministered Joshua, and Moses went up into the mount of God. And he said unto the elders, Tarry ye here for us, until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and Hur are with you. If any man have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moses went up into the mount, and the cloud covered the mount. And the glory of the Lord abode upon Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it six days. And the seventh day he called out unto Moses out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud, and gat him up unto the mount, and Moses was in the mount forty days and forty nights. <clears throat>